Good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. We are so glad that you decided to come this way on this morning, on this Resurrection Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Uh, we ask that uh, if you would do us a favor, those who are viewing, if you would like, click, and subscribe, and share with your friends, and let them know that we are in worship service. Amen. 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 We come today to praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Know what you're going to do? Amen. This time we'll have our devotion by uh, our deacons. Church. Good morning. Good morning. I say good morning, church. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all awake? Yes, sir. Y'all rose? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay then. Yeah. 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 Today's scripture will be coming from Matthew's 20, verses 17 through 19. May we stand for the reading. Jesus was going up to Jerusalem he took the twelve disciples aside and on on the way he said to them see we are going up to Jerusalem and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes and they will condemn him to death and delivered him over oh sorry about that And as Jesus was going up to Jerusalem, he took the twelve disciples aside, and on the way he said to them, See, we are going up to Jerusalem, and the Son of Man will be delivered over to the chief priests and scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him over to the Gentiles to be mocked and flogged and crucified, and he will be raised on the third day. I have read to you Matthew 20, verse 17 through 19. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearers, readers, and doers of his word. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's pray. Our Father, our God. Father, we come to you this morning, Lord, with bowed down heads and humble hearts. Just thanking you for being our risen Savior. Thank you so much. We thank you for all that you're doing, all that you've done, and all that you're going to continue to do. Thank you, Lord. Father, we just ask right now that you touch me. Touch as only you can. Yes. Father, forgive us of our sins. Yes. Yes. All have sinned, Lord. Yes. All yes. Yes. But Father, you went to a rugged cross for those sins, Lord. Yes. Thank you. We may have eternal life, but we yes. thank you, Lord. Thank you. We ask, Lord, that you bless from the pulpit to the door, Lord. Bless those that are out there viewing virtually, Father. Bless those that may be on their way right now. Bless those that, Lord, that may have wanted to be here, whether it be virtually or in person, Lord, but couldn't, Lord. We just ask, Lord, that you touch them right now, Father. Yeah, thank you. Father, we ask, Lord, that you have your way this morning. Yeah, have your way. Father, we just ask that you bless the man that's going to bring the preached word. Yeah. Touch him, anoint him from his head to his toe, Father. Yeah. Continue to bless the sick and the shut in. Bless, bless the bereaved, Lord. Yeah. Father, yeah. we just ask, Lord, that you continue to lead and order our steps. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Yes. Bless our families, bless yes. our loved ones, Lord. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for being our Savior. Father, we had 10,000 tongues. We just thank you for nothing, Lord. Thank you. I can still see my Savior yeah. on that old rugged cross. He didn't say anything. He just hung his head and his locks of his shoulder. And I think it is too worthy for him.
Thank mm-hmm. you. 
Amen. He got up. Our Savior got up. At this time, we're going to have uh, our speeches. We're going to have resurrection speeches by our children, our youth department. And we're going to hand as they come. All our children that are saying speeches, please come over here where Sister White is. Amen. Are they okay? Okay. Y'all fine. Y'all fine. I'm sorry. truly welcome you. We'd like to thank you for all your love for all the things you do. We thank you for your patience as we try to learn our lines, for listening with a smile, was it a hundred times? We thank you for, we thank you now for coming, but there's so much more to say. We'd like to share our Easter joy with a happy, happy day. Amen. Zari Smith. Thank you. 
Easter is a happy time. Jesus is he's the friend of mine. would say, let me go to Calvary where Christ my Savior died. Take me to the garden tomb and let me look inside. Take me to the mountain where he said his last goodbye. Let me watch with his disciples as he ascends into the sky. By, by Ellen Oldman. Accepting Jesus as Savior. Amen. 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 Accepting Jesus as Savior can change your lives and minds and save all. And because he came to die and save all mankind. Give praise to God this Easter for what he has done. He raised Jesus from the dead, his one and only son. Next we'll have Eli for Easter Day. is alive with <coughs> color bright after the winter dark night. Jesus came forth from the tomb to stay. Now we call that Easter day. Amen. Someday, the Bible tells us so. Okay, now we'll have a 
of Skit by Sister Danielle Smith, Miss Actress <laughs> Danielle Smith. The title of the skit is Journal of a Mad Easter Mama. <laughs> and they give you a synopsis of what it is. A mom tries to keep up with the busyness of Easter to make it special for her family, dying eggs, an impulse Pinterest project, sewing her daughter's Easter dress. But once the worship music begins on Easter morning, all the busyness fades away. <laughs> Themes, Easter, Bunny, Focus, Family, Moms, Busy. All right, all right, come on. I want to be a good February 15th. Dear Journal, I went to the grocery store today and was shocked by the pastel explosion of stuffed bunnies and ducks, baskets and eggs and candy galore. For crying out loud, it's February 15th. I haven't even finished gaining my Valentine's Day weight. <laughs> Somehow, I made it through the sugary gauntlet, dodging across the cupcakes and marshmallow bunnies. I approached the checkout with the swagger of a nutritionist, proud that my cart contained two leafy greens and a bag of apples. <laughs> but at the register, I faced the most difficult obstacle, my Easter egg candy nemesis. A box filled with those colorful, foiled, wrapped, cream-filled chocolate eggs of deliciousness. <laughs> As the cashier placed the last of my groceries in a bag, she spoke the words that doomed my daily calorie count. Ma'am, the chocolate eggs are just three for a dollar. <laughs> March 5th, dear journal. I set up my sewing machine on the dining room table today. I'm going to get an early start on Zari's Easter dress since the pattern is a little complicated. I like to challenge myself, but there'll be no late nights like last year. I was a little surprised though, while Reese, my little entrepreneur, <laughs> set the tame your tongue money jar beside me and said, it's the honor system, mom, and I'm counting on you. Just 10 more bucks and I can get that game. <laughs> Where does he come up with this stuff? <laughs> April 4th, Dear Journal, Mary Gardner, head of the extravaganza Easter egg hunt, called today and asked if I would be on the planning committee. I hesitated a bit, because y'all know me. <laughs> Explained how with my kids and all these activities, I stay pretty busy. You know me, I said, I'm not a very good multitasker. We laughed together over some of my parenting snafu. According to Mary, I still hold the Sunday morning child left behind record at the church five years and counting. <laughs> Mary has an outstanding long-term memory. Anyway, she told me not to worry. She had plenty of responsible adults to help with the children and that my job would officially be head of egg stuffer. Mary assured me that anyone could do the job. April 4th, Dear Journal. Mary Gardner called back. She wanted me to she wanted to remind me not to leave any stuffed eggs in the hot car because the candy will melt. Bless her heart, she wouldn't leave something. <laughs> April 8th, Dear Journal. Today I decided to try a Pinterest project. It's a really cute bunny surrounded by eggs in the front yard. I just need a wooden palette, paint, and some of those googly eyes. After a little convincing, Darren agreed to help me. <laughs> I think this project will be something fun that we can both do together. April 10th, Dear Journal. Had to run to the store for more band-aids. Turns out wooden pallets are pretty rough. You wouldn't know it, no, you wouldn't know it looking at the finished product on Pinterest. Anyway, the splinter in Dar Darren's hand have finally festered and with some tweezers, I think I can grab him this time. That's if Darren will stay still. For some reason, he always is tripping whenever I pull out a needle. <laughs> the good news is the bunny is very cute. <laughs> April 12th, Dear Journal, busy day today. Made great progress on Zari's dress, passed out Good Friday invites throughout the neighborhood, and after a lengthy debate, I drove Reese to get his game. I disagree that shoot, dang, and cut, target should be off limits, but Reese argued any spoken in anger is a no-no. 
Darren, our mediator, agreed, then asked me to apologize to the slot machine. <laughs> April 14th, Dear Journal, had an interesting chat, interesting chat with Mrs. Morgan, my longtime neighbor and fellow church member. Both of my kids passed through her kindergarten Sunday school class. Miss Morgan stopped by while I was getting the mail. I asked her if she and Pebbles, her miniature poodle, were enjoying the beautiful spring day, but she ignored the question and seemed fixated on my new Easter Bunny yard sign. Finally, Mrs. Morgan, in her brisk, no-nonsense manner, asked when we had gone secular. I, it pained her to see my generation so easily swayed by market-driven commercialism. I had no conversation, oh, sorry. I had no idea my bunny and eggs would be so controversial. Somewhere in our conversation, the, kid, the question of my kid's salvation was raised. That's when I realized that between Darren Splinters, Mrs. Morgan's sincere concern for our spiritual welfare, and the unintentional atheistic message conveyed by my bunny, I have no business picking Pinterest projects. I spent the next 20 minutes assuring Mrs. Morgan that my kids love Jesus, no, we have not left the church or changed denominations, and that yes, we'd be happy to take her candy-filled plastic eggs to the extravaganza when we go. April 16th. Dear Journal, it is the night before Easter Sunday and I completely forgot to buy eggs to color. The boys were a little disappointed, but Zari was devastated. It turns out though that Idaho potatoes take dye really well, thanks to my husband, he's a problem solver. <laughs> April 17th, Dear Journal, another Easter has come and gone. Extravaganza was a huge success bringing community and church together. Sarah looked be Zara looked beautiful in her dress, and Darren pointed out that her brown stained hands really brought out her beautiful eyes. <laughs> and when Mrs. Morgan saw us enter the worship center, she fairly flew out of her pew and wrapped her prodigal child in a hug. <laughs> it seemed she was ready to put the bunny incident behind us. I was ready to put it behind me too. The bunny, the baskets of eggs and candy, the dress, our Idaho potatoes, when the beautiful music began and all the business faded away, I was finally able to give my undivided attention to just one task, worshiping my Lord and Savior. Amen. There are times in my humble opinion that multitasking is overrated. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you. Okay, that's it. Thank you all so much for listening. Thank you for gracing us with your speeches and your poems and your play. Amen. Thank you. We really appreciate what you've done. Thank you. I can remember when I used to be uh, like Eli. I didn't want to talk. Really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to talk as a child. But, but God can do things. Amen? Amen. So we just keep praying for our youth department. Please keep our youth department in your prayers. Amen. I'm sorry, I have one more speech by Jalea Williams. All right, all right. Hope and love and forgiveness and salvation, no more fear, life eternity. We are sins are paid for, we are free now and forever. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Right, yeah.
We have one who was raised or who went here as a child. Yes, yes. Grew up to be a man. Yes. Humble and holy. Yes. <laughs> uh, just like all the other children that were here that grew up. And uh, he is, uh, he resides now in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah. Uh, none other than the Reverend Roy Kirkwood. Would you like to yeah, this morning? Amen. Amen. Grace and peace to you for God the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It's great to be in the house of the Lord one yeah. more time. Amen. It's so great to see all of you. Yeah. It's like um, yesterday that I was giving an Easter speech. <laughs> I had to yeah. memorize all week long or I was going to be on punishment. Yeah. I Amen. But it's good to be here and always, yeah. every time I get to come, once every other year, uh, Sundays are usually days where I have to be at work. Um, but the Lord saw fit to yeah. make it a way for our yeah, people yeah, yeah, Sunday, yeah. so I'm glad to be here. Yeah. And let me just say thank you. Thank uh, wherever you. I am, wherever I um, become, it is because of you and the investment of this church. I would not be who I am without the Second Baptist Church here in Rio. I say, um, I pray that one day I can give you a good return on your investment. I can never pay you uh, money. <laughs> But how I live my life and how I conduct myself, I pray that one day um, you can say, well done. Just well as done. one day our uh, Father and the Lord Jesus Christ will say, just take a moment and thank you, Pastor Ellis, for this opportunity. You guys are always in my prayer. Usually when I get out of our church, you guys are just starting up, so I always tune in to see what you guys are doing every Sunday. The notification on my phone that you guys are live and often see brother reed up here talking yeah <laughs> uh, gave that gift. amen, amen. <laughs> amen. Right. Yeah, but thank you all so much for uh checking on me you always hit me up on facebook to call uh, for whatever reason and i appreciate it uh, please keep my auntie in prayer yeah. she's yeah. in the hospital um i'll leave it at that but just please keep amen. her in prayer yeah. uh, we know that the lord is a healer praying for me and you guys are always in my prayer. Once again, thank you for all that you have done for me and my family over the years. Amen. 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 Um, we all grow up. We don't say little forever. Amen. And even when we grow up, we keep on growing. Hopefully in the Lord. Amen. Amen. At this time, we will have uh, uh, our pastor will come up. Amen. Amen. Break the word of life to share the word of life with us. Amen. Preach. Preach. Pastor Ellis. Preach. Preach. Pastor Ellis. Families 
sharing with their children. We never know uh, which of our children God will use and how he will use them. Yeah. So we're thankful for those parents who are taking the challenge to raise a godly generation. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because Amen. we don't want uh, our Christian beliefs to stop with us. Amen. We want to pass that godly Amen. legacy Amen. on to the next generation Amen. so Amen. others can hear yeah. uh, about the Lord. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. Well, this morning I want to uh, call your attention to Luke chapter 24. Luke chapter 24. And I want to read from the New King James Version. The 12, first 12 verses. And if you are able, if you would stand to honor the reading of God's word. Right. Luke chapter 24, verses 1 to 12, and I'm reading from the New King James Version of the Bible, and this is the reading. Now, on the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they and certain women with them came to the tomb, bringing the spices which they had prepared. But they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. They went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then as they were afraid, and bowed their faces to the earth, they said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and the third day rise again Amen. Amen. and they remember his words then they returned from the tomb and told these things to the, the eleven and all that uh, and all the rest it was Mary Magdalene mm -hmm. Joanna Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told these things to the apostles and their words seemed to them like tales idle tales and they did not believe them but Peter arose and ran to the tomb stooping down he saw the linen clothes lying by themselves and he departed marveling to himself at what had happened this is the word of God let's pray father in heaven we thank you again thank you, Lord. For another resurrection Sunday. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, O oh God, for what you did for us on yes, the cross. Lord. Thank you, Lord. And how we are shaped by your uh, dying for us on the cross and for all that you have done Thank for you, us. Thank, Thank you, you that we still believe yes, yes. that the tomb is empty, yes, yes, that you yes, rose. Lord. And that you paid for our sins. Yes. We ask that you would bless us now as we look into your word. Yes. In Jesus' name we Jesus pray. Name. Amen. 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 God bless you. You may be seated. From this section of scripture, I want to talk about the women at the tomb. Yeah. The women at the tomb. And in looking at these women at the tomb, I'm talking about being a disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because what he did for us on Calvary's cross mm -hmm. affects all of us. Yes. Right. My goal 
in sharing this sermon this morning is not to highlight the feminist movement that's so current in our cultural climate today. Instead, I want us to see that our top priority in life as a believer is to be a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. The women in this section of scripture show that they don't always have to be, they don't always have to have a title or a position in order to be a true disciple. All right, all right, all right. From the beginning, some of the most effective and loyal disciples of Christ had little or no status in society. Amen. These women with no societal status were the last to leave Jesus. Mm -hmm. While he was on the cross at the crucifixion and they were the first at the empty tomb. Amen. Indicating that the transforming power of Jesus had given these women courage and boldness right, right. to be witnesses of the greatest thing that ever happened. Yeah. Yeah. And when we have boldness from knowing who Jesus is, mm -hmm. we can be true disciples. Yeah. 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 In, a, in a marvelous display of these women's faith and God's approval, yeah. That they became the world's first witnesses of the resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. The account of Jesus' empty tomb uh, is the climax of the gospel message and the central fact of Christianity in history. The four gospels have different accounts of the circumstances surrounding Jesus' resurrection which shows that their reports of this tremendous event was not a conspiracy. Oh, yeah. uh, if, if they had conspired, they would have all told the same story. Yeah. 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 Although not the, exactly the same, these accounts give us a unique perspective of the gospel writer's view. Yes. Yes. Uh, today I want to examine the women at the tomb yes. in Luke's account. These women exhibit the characteristics that should be in all believers. Yeah. Yeah. They are characteristics that believers need to be true disciples of Jesus Christ. Right. The number and exact identity of the women involved in the various visits to the tomb from the various gospels is hard to verify. Mm. But it's clear that God used these women in a unique way as witnesses of the most crucial event for Christian faith. Yes. The gospels do not present the precise moment of the resurrection. The gospels do present the surrounding circumstances and agree on at least these facts regarding the uh, resurrection. The resurrection occurred, according to the Bible, early in the morning. All right. yeah. And it was on the first day of the week. And the tomb was opened. And the tomb was empty. Yeah. Yeah. And there were angelic messengers present. And it was discovered first by women. Yeah, yeah. And there was a commission given to them in relation to Jesus' appearance and resurrection. Justin Taylor shares a brief excerpt on why it matters theologically and historic and historically. Historically. Yeah, that word. <laughs> that the women were first to discover the empty tomb. <laughs> women, he explains, were ineligible to be legal witnesses in the first century. The gospel story was mocked 
by second century uh, critic Zealous for their portrayal of these women as witnesses and he calls them hysterical women. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Women would have been the most unlikely witnesses if you were trying to get the Sadducees and Pharisees right. to believe right. in the resurrection. Right. Right. So this background matters because of two points. First, it's a theological reminder uh, of the kingdom the Messiah turns uh, on its ear mm. uh, into a, this culture Jesus Jesus radically affirmed the dignity of women and the value of their witness yeah, yeah, yeah. secondly it's a powerful uh, apologetic reminder of the historical accuracy of the resurrection accounts. Amen. If it was a cleverly devised scheme, women would have never been be presented as the first eyewitnesses Amen. of the res risen Christ. Right. Because right. Jesus rose on the third day as he had promised, yeah. the cross has meaning and there is now hope and promise yes. for the resurrection of all of us yes, who believe in him. Yes. 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 Because of the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, uh, because the resurrection of Jesus from the dead is the single greatest event in human history. Yes. That makes the first people on the scene important witnesses mm -hmm. of the most important yeah. event yes. uh, in human history. Uh -huh. Three points. Three points about these women. And I'll take my seat. Remember that these things that I'm going to share about these women are what's needed to be a true disciple of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you're going to be a follower of Christ, these three things need to be true about you. First, these women were consistent disciples. They, they continued to be a disciple uh, throughout their ministry in, this, uh, in the Bible. And they were courageous disciples. They had to be courageous to stick with Jesus right. while he was here on earth. Yeah. And then thirdly, they were committed disciples. They were committed to follow Jesus Christ no matter what. And if we're going to be disciples of Jesus Christ, we have to be committed. Amen. Those three things and I'll take my seat. First, they were consistent disciples. Luke informs us about the vital role of a large number of women uh, that play in supporting the ministry of Jesus um, throughout his three years on earth in ministry. There were always women who were following him and supporting him. Amen. The reason these women were privileged to be the first witnesses on earth of Christ's resurrection was because they were some of the few disciples that didn't leave Christ during his great trial. They were with him at the cross when some of his male disciples all right, betrayed him and deserted him. These right. sisters... Uh -huh. were still there All right. because of their relationship and because they were true disciples. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The women never left him even after his dead body was taken down from the cross mm. and laid in a tomb. Yeah. And yeah. even while it was in the tomb, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary sat in front of the tomb guarding the tomb uh -huh. as long as they could without breaking the Sabbath. Yeah, yeah. Because of them, Jesus' honor and respect was extended to all women. Yeah. Yeah. 
This yeah. attitude was unexpected and unknown at this time in history and in this culture. Mm. Women weren't, weren't valued. But Jesus turns that around and he gives them value. And he gives each and every one of us value when we receive him as our Savior. Amen. And listen, when we receive him as our Savior, we still have some responsibilities. It doesn't stop there. It has to continue. Unlike the men of his generation and culture, uh, they didn't teach women, they didn't teach that women were equal to men. <laughs> but in the sight of God, the ground is level around the cross. And everybody has the same standing before Christ. Women could be full participants in the kingdom of God because Jesus honored them. These were revolutionary ideas at the time. We, we, we see uh, all human beings some of us see <laughs> all human beings yes. as being equal yeah, yeah. and having the rights to do uh, what anybody else can do. Yeah, that's right. The women who are mentioned in Luke's account are the same women mentioned by Matthew, Mark as well. Matthew and Mark as well. Women consistently follow Jesus not only to Galilee, not only to Jerusalem, but in, while he was in Galilee. Yeah. They are women who were consistent in their ministry. Mm -hmm. They ministered to him wherever he went. Yeah. They stood by our Lord, Lord at the cross and they were the first to come to the empty tomb. Yeah. What a marvelous and wonderful group of women this must have been because they were consistent in their ministry to Christ and in their fellowship of Christ. Yeah. See, you can't just start to follow by accepting him as Savior and then go off somewhere else. Right. You must be consistent in following Jesus Christ. And in order to be consistent in following Christ, you must be courageous. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. That's my second point. They were courageous disciples. These women who followed him were courageous. We know that these women who are mentioned by Luke are bold women who courageously stood by their Lord. Their coming to the tomb took an act of courage. Yes. Look, they were looking for the disciples. Uh -huh. They were the, the Roman soldiers were looking for people who followed him. Uh -huh. And so their coming to the tomb was an act of courage. The Romans were looking for all of his followers. And 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 and, and, and that's why the men ran away. <laughs> that's why they were hiding. Yeah. They were afraid. They didn't have the kind of courage that it takes to stick to it. And that's what we need today. If we're going to be followers of Jesus Christ, we need some courage. You need to be courageous in the face of this culture and in these times when they make it a sin to be a follower of Jesus Christ. They try to shame the followers of Christ. So there needs to be some courage. These women were determined to do what little they could do to honor his dead body. They came to the tomb with oil and spices or, or ointments and spices knowing, knowing that the soldiers would be there. Uh -huh. Amen. It takes some courage. Amen. Perhaps you don't understand. The Roman soldiers in that day was the bad boy. You think yeah. uh, what what 
Russia is doing to Ukraine yeah. is a shame. Yeah. It was much worse. Yeah. What the Romans were doing to the Jewish people. Uh -huh. yeah. But these women were uh, determined. I think that this shows their character and that God acknowledged their faithful, courageous service uh, that they were giving to Jesus. It helps us to realize that the women did follow, who did follow Jesus uh, knew that their lives were in danger. God knew that their willingness to take care of his son's physical body, even after he was dead, was a sign of their great love and devotion. Yeah. And so he blessed and rewarded them for it yeah. by allowing them to be the first witnesses of the resurrection. Yeah. Yeah. Mark 16, 6 and 7 says, the angel said, you see Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified? He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. But go your way, tell his disciples and Peter that he goes before you into Galilee. And there you shall see him as he said unto you. Amen. So Jesus Amen. predicted what was going to take place before he was crucified. Yes, and on hearing these words, the women ran from the tomb to tell the disciples. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I just want I just want us to understand and see that there were some courageous women at the tomb and, 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 and it's a shame in my opinion because God gave the charge for leadership to men right right amen <laughs> Listen, I just, I just, I just want this to be an encouragement to the brothers to step up. That's right. We need to lead our families in a godly way. We need to help our communities. Right, right. So that the communities can be transformed wow. yeah. into what God calls us to be. Yeah. Yeah. We are the only people on earth who are charged with carrying out the Great Commission. Yeah. And if we don't do it, wow. it won't get done. Yeah. Yeah. And so whatever amount of courage it takes, we can be bold with it. Yes, yes. Because Jesus said before he left to go back home to heaven, Lo, I'll be with you. And so as long as he's with us, yeah. we need to have some boldness right. about our walk yeah. as a disciple. Yeah. 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 Listen, listen, we talked last week about uh, disciples and discipleship. And, 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 and we are the ones as followers of Christ who want to be his disciples. Right. Now let me, let, me, uh, let, let me throw this in edgewise. It's good for people to be a Christian. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. It's good for people to call themselves Christians. Right. But you know what I say. <laughs> what you do? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Listen, listen. A tree is known by its roots. You can talk about being a disciple all day long. But if you're not following according to the word of God, you may be fooling yourself into thinking you're a disciple. And listen, listen, it doesn't mean that following Christ is going to allow you to walk down a primrose path. Mm -hmm. 
It's not going to be easy. Jesus. There, there's going to be some difficulty, yes. some ups yes. and some downs. Yes. 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 And that's why he wants you to be in a church yeah. where you can get support yeah. from other believers like yourself. Amen. 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 Thank you. This is where it gets tough. Because we're talking about following Christ mm -hmm. according yeah, to, to his word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. We can't make up stuff. Amen. Pretend to be a follower. Right, right. We have to follow according to the word of God. For these women, these women, as they were going back to tell the disciples, not only did they realize the tomb was empty, but Jesus stopped them. They seen the resurrected Christ, and he told them to go tell the disciples. When they saw him, they fell at his feet uh -huh. and worshipped him, mm -hmm. knowing that he was indeed their Lord. Yes. And he told them, be not afraid. Go tell those fellas that's hiding up there <laughs> to meet me in Galilee. Yeah. From that moment on, when the others questioned their testimonies, they never doubted what they had seen and felt. Listen, sometimes because we're a believer, we even accept Christ as Savior. The society, the culture can make us believe Amen. Amen. that it's ridiculous uh -huh. to think of Jesus as a Savior. Mm -hmm. And there's too many people who are spreading falsehoods yeah, yeah, yeah. about what the word of God says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have to be courageous yeah. in standing on the truth yeah. of God's word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't let these little tales that their people are uh, spreading about what Jesus did or what the Bible says. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Amen. The Bible is the truth. Right. And it is the word of God. Yes. And it's worth following. Yes. Right. Right. Yeah. And you have to be courageous. Uh -huh. Sometimes you have to be courageous uh -huh. enough Thank to you, get Lord. past yourself. Yes. These women, because of their courageousness, maintained a continuous witness about seeing the empty tomb, uh, about seeing the angel, and about seeing and touching the resurrected Savior. They were courageous in the face of what was normal in society. They, 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 it takes something. To be bold enough yes. to stand on the word of God. Yes. Yes. It has to be something in you that you know. Yes. Listen, you have to understand that whatever it is that you've gone through yes. in life, yes. it yes. was Jesus. Thank you. Who brought you through? Yeah. 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 All the ups and downs Thank you, of life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He kept you here yeah. for a purpose. Thank you, Lord. And the purpose is for you to Thank follow you, him Thank as a Thank disciple. You. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Right? Yeah. And not just as a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Christian is a title. That's right. Yeah. And it was a negative title. Mm -hmm. When they were first called Christians at Antioch, mm -hmm. 
It's because they were saying those these are Christ That's ones. right. Yeah. That's right. These are the people who follow Christ. Yeah. yeah. They mocked them and laughed at them. Yes, they did. Because they didn't believe That's right. who he is. That's right. Right. Uh -huh. yeah. But he is uh -huh. who he said he is. Yeah. 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 And he does what he said he'll do. Uh -huh. He says, No, I'll be with you always. Has some hard times in their life, and especially now in this season, in this part of history, there's always somebody who we didn't expect getting up out of here. We just want to make sure that our loved ones know Jesus Christ. Assured, yes. if they know him, yes. we will see them again. Yes. 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 Just as sure as we could be of knowing we'll see our loved ones who belong to Christ again. You can be sure that the ones you don't tell about Jesus Christ, you will never see them again. Help us, help us. If we know the torment they'll be in because they don't know Christ, that should motivate us. That should give us enough courage to overcome Whatever is preventing us. For being courageous enough to tell somebody about Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. Listen, listen. I can tell by your face that you're ready to go. My third point. Preach it, brother. The reason. They could be uh, committed. Yeah. Uh, that what reason they could be courageous is because they were committed. Yeah. Right. 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 Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. Listen. Yeah. When you're committed to something, it means you're all in. Yeah. Yeah. You're committed, come what may. Yeah. <laughs> and listen, listen. Jesus told his disciples in Matthew 16, somewhere around verse 33, in this life, Jesus' words to his disciples, in this life, yes. you shall have tribulation. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad he didn't stop there. <laughs> but he said, be of good cheer, yeah. for I have overcome the world. Yeah. Yeah. So when we're with him, yeah. he'll help us yeah. through whatever it is. Yeah. Thank you. Luke's account of these women who of these women who followed Jesus and supported his min, min, ministry is a tribute to them and their ministry. It commends the women for their faithfulness and commitment to the Lord. And it values their ministry Amen. as a partnership in the proclamation of the gospel. Listen, listen, listen. Everybody has a ministry to share. Amen. When you receive Christ as your Savior, He placed gifts in you. So you can use those gifts for the edifying of the body of Christ. That means for building up the body. Amen. The good news is that everybody ain't got the same gift. I don't have to have your gift, and you don't have to have mine. Whatever your gift is, 
use it for the glory of God. The only way you'll be able to use it for the glory of God is you must be committed yes. to follow Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 yes. Jesus made plain the cost of discipleship. Yes. He says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself. Yes. Yes. Take up his cross yes. and follow me yes. daily. daily. Yes. Not every now and then. Yes. Not here and there. Yes. Not once in a while. Yes. But daily. Yes. We must take up our yes. cross yes. and follow Jesus. Amen. 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 That's it. He said, for whoever would save his life huh. will lose it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And whoever loses his life for my sake Thank will you, save it. Thank you, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That takes some commitment. Yes, sir. Man. Thank you, man. Amen. 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 Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. hmm. Amen. All right. Jesus. Hmm. In essence, the true cost of commitment to Jesus Christ mm -hmm. is total self-denial. Yes, yes. It's cross-bearing. Yes, yes. It's continually following mm -hmm. Him. Yeah, yeah. Listen, sometimes it, it, it's difficult for people. Mm -hmm. It's difficult for us yeah. human beings mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes to put ourselves to the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We live in a culture where it's a me first culture. Mm -hmm. I got to get mine first. Mm -hmm. And it's an instant gratification yes. culture. Yes. If I can hit, press a button, <laughs> wait for the beat. And it's done. We want it right now. I gotta get something from the store. <laughs> Call somebody and let them bring it to me. It's okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. I call them all the time. <laughs> it, 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 it's important not to let what the culture right. is doing yeah. direct your Christianity. Yeah, right. They'll have you like the brothers <laughs> hiding. <laughs> Denying Christ, uh -huh. pretending that you don't know Him. Uh -huh. Somebody wasn't with Him. <laughs> you have to be committed, yeah, right. courageous. That's right. yeah. To achieve this level of commitment. You must be consistent in your actions yes. and courageous in carrying them out. Amen. Amen. Paul followed the Lord's example of commitment and sacrifice. Paul said, I have been crucified with Christ. Yes. It is no longer I who live, yes. but yes. Christ yes. who lives yes. in me. You have, you have that kind yes. of attitude. Yes. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Because of what he's done for us, we can commit ourselves to him. Thank you. So these women at the tomb showed us how total commitment looked. And uh, what it means 
that Jesus is our sole authority Amen. Amen. Yes. and guiding light yes. and the source of our power. Yes. Yes. We, he, he will give us what we need yes. to accomplish what we need to accomplish for His glory. Amen. 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 So you can look in the face of trouble <laughs> and say, I ain't scared. <laughs> because God Amen. is with you Amen. Well. Amen. through the vicissitudes <laughs> of life. Amen. That is the ups and downs. Yeah. He's there all the time. Amen. 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 And, and, and what we need is faith, courage, yes. consistency, and commitment yes. 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 to follow Him. Right. And the way you are able to follow Him, I'm going to quit now, <laughs> is to know what Reverend Lockridge once said. He asked the question, you know Him, don't you? He is the king of knowledge. He's the wellspring of wisdom. Yeah, He's the yeah, doorway yeah. of deliverance. Yeah. He's the pathway of peace. Yeah, yeah. He's the roadway of righteousness. Yeah, yeah. He's the highway of holiness. Yeah. And he's the yeah. gateway of glory. Yeah. He said, you know him, don't you? His life is matchless. His goodness is limitless. His mercy is his word is enough. His grace is sufficient. His reign is righteous. And his yoke is easy. And his burden. Thank you, Lord. The women at the tomb recognized him and went with him all the way. And that's what you call commitment. When you're able to go all the way with Christ. We, 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 we remember what he did for us. He took the pain and the shame of being crucified to pay the cost for my sin and for your sin. He is the Lord of Lords and he's the King of Kings. We're grateful today for these unsung heroes of the faith who were consistent disciples courageous disciples and committed disciples. Right. 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 They are the first century role models for all disciples of all time. Yeah. 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 So it's good for us to celebrate the resurrection yeah. on Resurrection Sunday. Yeah. 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 I don't mean no harm. Please don't let them take away your belief in the resurrection of Jesus Amen. Christ. Yeah. 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 By pointing to some bunny rabbits. Yeah. Oh, right. Bouncing around. Yeah. Yeah. Or some Easter eggs. Uh -huh. yeah. the gospel does. It is not because of that right. that we right. celebrate yeah. on this That's day. Right. 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 We celebrate on this yeah. day Thank because you. the Lord got Thank up. You. This is the right time yes. for you to get up yes. and receive him right. yes. as your Lord and Savior. Yes. Yes. Won't you receive him today? Yes. Make yes. your commitment to follow him. Mm -hmm. We want you to join our church family or join a church family yes. so that we can walk together yes. on the road to discipleship. Amen. This is the time for you to come to Jesus. John 3.16 
3.16 is a reminder. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Verse 17 says, For God did not send his Son to condemn the world, but Savior, this is your opportunity. Wow. This is the right time. Won't you come to receive Christ as your Savior? Romans 10 and 9 says that if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, Now unto him who is able to present you faultless before the 
very throne of grace to the only wise God be glory, power, and dominion both now, henceforth, and forevermore, and all the people of God sang together. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank you so much.